You're not sorry. Dude. No, I was trying to. I was trying to start the stream, and you just talked over the start of it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, you. we're here for Spyro, Secret Spyro. What are you doing? I don't know. Jack doesn't know about it. We're gonna keep it a secret from him. I gotta clean up. Uh, I gotta clean up Jack's mess, and he didn't get all the gems in Spyro, so I'm I'm gonna go do that now. And uh, let me just go ahead, go into restream. I gotta do a little setup, so hang out for just a minute or two. to change the games on Twitch and Mixer. Spyro 2 Season of Flame. No, that's the Game Boy one. I wonder if I should at some point do the uh, do the Crash and Spyro games on Game Boy because I've never played them. I know the Game Boy Crash, Crash's Big Adventure or whatever it is called, is a 2D platformer, I think is what it is. Up over here. Get the TV loaded. And gonna have to start EPSX, which hopefully runs smoother than the crash stream just uh, last time did. Had a little bit of issue finding the window last time. Not playing Crash Team Racing today. Soon. Okay, here we go. Is it working? I also forgot to center it on screen during Crash Team Racing, I realized. So I had to edit that in post before I put it up. That was fun. Here we go. Secret Spyro stream cleanup. I did that. At, I did this after World 1. Doing it after World 2. Slot 2. There we go. So that we will have all of the gems when we get to secret post-game stuff. After we beat that nasty Ripto. So what do we got? We got... I also did this after the end of uh, Spyro 1. Just so we would get to play the last... The last level. The nasty's loot. Or whatever it was called. So. I'm gonna do some scouring. Here in the hub world. Get all the gems here. As you may notice, I do not have the same uh, same struggle with spiral controls as Jack does. So I should be able to get through this quite a bit faster. Last cleanup stream was only maybe 45 minutes for Summer Forest. If that. Maybe even 30 minutes. I consider myself fairly proficient at Spyro. Run along the wall. Let me make sure. I'm gonna move the cl I move the mic a little closer. It's a little far. All right. Lots of sheep. Any gems? Gems? Where are you? I'm missing fourteen of you. I think. Going on a treasure hunt. Maybe on the castle roof, maybe on the stairs. Who knows? What's the camera buttons? Is it? Yeah, it's R1L1. Bumpers. Got it. 
Camera, please. Camera, please! Maybe on the island. Maybe it'll be out here. On one of the islands. There are two islands. In this uh, bottomless pit of Avalar. Spyro 2 has distinctly fewer bottomless pits in the levels themselves, but uh, more in the overworld. Because it's this whole, hey, there you are. Between this and, so and uh, Winter Tundra, both those worlds are surrounded by bottomless pit. check down here. Probably not nothing. Nothing. So they're on the roof. On the roof or the tiny island? Probably the roof. If you were not here for the previous stream, the Rayman we just did. Jack is getting ready to go to work. Hello, Solo Delta Games. I'm doing a little cleanup stream to get all the gems. Because we didn't get all the gems the last time we, uh, in our normal run through of this. We didn't? Jack! You're not here! You, you're not supposed to look at this! Oh. This is a secret! I just make sure Jack gets all the orbs. Because those are, you know, necessary to get the. Okay, I, now I... Okay, I don't know where the last few gems are now. Missing five somewhere. Good frame rate. Uh... I thought I covered everywhere. Hey, oh, I know where. Why are you playing the PAL version? Is this the PAL version? And if so, how can you tell? This is an ISO, so this is not... I have a physical disc, I'm not using it. Just because the, the discs have been deteriorating, as you can see, if you'd seen the previous Rayman stream we just did. But uh, I, I am curious, what's the, what's the giveaway that this is the PAL version rather than NTSC? It said... The American version doesn't have a map. Interesting. Are you sure that's not an option? Because I think that was always there. It was off by default. We turned it on in the options. But the title screen of this game doesn't say Gateway to Glimmer. And that's what the European title was. Uh, guidebook. Where's the guidebook? What do we need? What's the next level? I guess it doesn't matter. We can do them in any order. Now, I know in Europe the game was titled not Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, but Spyro 2 Gateway to Glimmer. Even though that's only the first level of the game and has very minimal story impact. But, no, I've never, I've never played with the map before. In fact, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to see how long it takes Jack to notice that it's off when he, can, when he plays the game again. He'll probably notice immediately because he is, he is spoiled on modern games. And was very dependent on said map. I've never played I've never played with it on. I just like Mario 64 or many of the other 3D platforming games of this era. I just assumed to not have one and learn my way around geographically. Which I had no problem with, but And you know the funny thing about that is that Jack is actually older than me, so he has no excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would be inclined to agree. I, I think the map is distracting. Alright, let's check up here. How many gems are we missing? We're missing 35. Could be worse. Spyro, our village is being overrun by lava lizards. Can't you get... Nope. I'm gonna leave your buddies. They'll be they'll be fine. They're good. Lava lizards gotta eat too. We've already gotten all of the orbs in this area, so this is uh 
Usually Jack is the one playing this. And, uh, because Jack had never played Spyro before. This was, we got through Spyro 1 and are now on Spyro 2. This was his first experience with the Spyro games. And so we made a point to have him play them. But, uh, no, he's just getting all the orbs, all the talismans and orbs. And when we clear world, I'm clearing out all the gems so that when we get to the end, we'll just be able to see the, the secret, the, the true... Not even the true ending, just... All you get from all the gems is the, uh... Is the flame power-up. I don't think you unlock any movies or anything from it. I'm not sure. We'll find out. I know that you need all the orbs for, uh... For the dragon uh, amusement park area. So that's why we're making sure we get all those. But this should be pretty quick. I should be able to clear out this world of gems we missed. And, uh... Oh, I should have, I should have been killing those bone lizards. There's a theater mode. Yes, I, I know there's a theater mode in Dragon Shores. I just don't remember if, uh, getting all the gems in the game unlocks any movies in said theater. Because I know it gets you the permanent super flame. After, you know, if there's any reason to use it. It's like... I've compared it to the the fancy triple jump in Mario 64 because you only get it after there's nothing left to do in the game. There's no point. There's nothing to use it on anymore. I'm gonna check back here. Then I'm gonna go check the cave. Honestly, I'm surprised that uh, Jack's gotten is this many because he hasn't been very. I didn't consider him being very thorough in searching for gems. Alright, let's check the lava cave. Or they might just all be this chest here. Maybe we got all of them except the ones in that jar. I don't see any over there. I'm gonna take care of the jar. Until for oh hello, I see you just hanging out. You think Spyro 2 is your least favorite of the series? That's interesting. It's my favorite of them, and that's the opinion I've heard from most people. I'm, why is it? Uh, not here to argue. Just curious. Why is it? Why is it your least favorite? Just something to do with like the setting. gems. It's very short compared to the others. I guess I can see that. It only has three hub worlds compared to the first... How many did the first game have? Five, right? Five counting uh, Nork land place. And I don't remember... I don't remember exactly how many three had. Three is the only three I did not have as a kid. I think I I think I rented it a bit, but I only got it and played through it extensively as an adult. So that's the least nostalgic of them for me. But oh, six counting nasties loot. I like all three of them. I do think that two is my favorite. I like the. I like the setting and characters of this one. Three introduced... Not a huge hindrance. I do think it had too many playable characters for me. Which I just didn't... Uh, I didn't dislike them, but I didn't like playing them as much as... Uh, I didn't like playing them as much as playing Spyro. So those other character levels got to be a little obnoxious after a little while for me. If you get on the Spyro 3 has four hub worlds and a bonus home world. 
Yeah, we'll get we'll get to Spyro 3 after this one. We're planning to uh, go through the Spyro trilogy, the original ones. And then uh, I think we'll do a, a one-off of the PS2 Spyro, the fourth one, just to just get a glimpse at how not good it is. I would say. Maybe some people disagree. I'd have trouble seeing how, but every opinion's out there. And then uh, we want to move on to uh, the Ratchet and Clank series, because that's the next uh, next thing Insomniac went and did. Which Jack has, plays, has, has played. We've both played the Ratchet and Clank games. I am very much expecting. I feel like it's almost guaranteed that we're going to get a Spyro Trilogy announcement for Switch. Like, that's pretty much a given. But, uh... I'm expecting Spyro Trilogy on Switch. I am very much hoping for Crash and Spyro in Smash, as many, many people are. Looking forward to that possibility. Oh, back to the, the ticks without souls. They have no souls for me to collect. I need more souls before I can explore the tick cave. I always thought it was weird you could charge those guys with their giant spike noses. Yeah, I d again, I didn't grow up with Spyro 3, so I am the least nostalgic. I have the least memory of it. I remember enjoying it when I played it, but... I don't know, I just didn't quite like the levels or characters as much. It's it's a subjective thing, I acknowledge I this. Pets, no I think the game should be on as many consoles as people play them. Yeah, that's usually the thing. Pretty much everything is making it onto the Switch at this point. It's becoming, surprisingly, because it's Nintendo, it's becoming almost as, uh, almost as universal as Steam. Like, indie, ga indie games are all going on the Switch, which I'm, I'm happy for, especially because it's, uh, it's mobile, which is very neat for many of those games that are otherwise... If they're only on Steam, then they're only on PC. Let's see, I'm still missing 20. Okay, I'm gonna guess that 20 is probably in the tick cave. I'm gonna go go explore that. Let's go. I'm not gonna buy every version of the game. And, uh, honestly... I don't know how hopeful I am for the the remake trilogy. Just because I know it's being developed by or it was developed, it's already been made by the Skylanders guys. Although it doesn't use this it doesn't use the Skylanders Spyro model. I think it has uh, something between Skylanders Spyro and OG Spyro in terms of the visual design. It looked like it added some kind of cutscene-ish things. Which, especially in Spyro 1, it didn't have much in the way of that, so I I guess it's not a problem. I'm just not totally sold on the visual style of the remake trilogy. This is a big level. Big level to explore. I have a lot to do. Maybe. I think I have an... I think there is a... No, I don't think. I know there's a, a question mark jar on this level. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna move the screen a little bit because I can't see the chat very well. Haven't seen much of the reignited trilogy. No. 
I mean, I think people have been playing it and enjoying it. I'm just... Even if it is remakes, I'm just glad to see Spyro getting some love that isn't Skylanders at this point. Oh, he's over here. Remember some bad news. What? Uh, Steam, uh, Valve's gonna kick off all, like, anime visual novels off Steam. Oh. Yeah. So, are they, are they gonna be on Switch? They caved to a media watchdog group, and they're like, it doesn't matter if they got Me nudity in it or anything, they're just doing it. Soccer moms against anime? Yes! All right, Ska! <laughs> no, Sma. Sma. Alright, I'll see you later. See you later. Have fun doing the thing, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, Jack doesn't know we're doing this. Keep it a secret. Wow, I didn't even need the cannon for that guy. Okay, so there's that. Hopefully... I don't know how the... I mean, obviously, Skylanders is profitable. So... I can't say that... I guess I can't say Spyro isn't profitable. I mean, it's not really his series anymore, though. It's totally separate I forgot my ID. ...thing. But what was the... Like, what was the last Spyro game before Skylanders? Was it the, like, super realistic... Not super realistic, but the... That trilogy where they tried to be all dark and edgy with Cinder the Dragon? Wasn't that it? Or was there one between that and Skylanders? See you for reals this time. Bye-bye, Jack. Skylanders was going downhill. I don't even mind that it's a series or that it's successful. I just... It's not Spyro is all it is. That was the last one. Okay. I know the PS2 Spyro was garbage in the control department. Because I have that one. And I haven't... I haven't played any after that one. Ow. But no, I haven't heard anything good about the series as a whole. Or any, any real fondness from fans or new players in that era, between the, the original trilogy and Skylanders. Here's some stuff. So even if, hopefully, the fact that people are playing the remakes I mean, I hope people are playing them. Ob obviously, I'm not, because I'm here playing this. But uh, hopefully the people playing them sends the message that, you know, there still is a demand for Spyro games. Because it's a unique kind of platformer, being able to glide and such. Always felt like they basically took Spyro hostage for Skylanders. Yeah. I don't think there's any question that they just used his name to sell the product. That's the only reason he was there. It, it didn't really need to be a, a Spyro-related anything. Because it's really not. It's just, hey, we want to get into the business of... Who was the first to do that? Was it, uh... Who was the first to have the, the figure game? I mean, Nintendo has figures, but they don't have, a uh, they don't have the game around it. It was, the two competitors were Disney Infinity and Skylanders, and I don't remember which came around first. I think, I think there were attempts within Nintendo to make an Amiibos, a, a Skylanders or Infinity-like game with Amiibos. That kind of, that spawned Amiibos. They decided to go with the figures, but not the game around them. If I remember my history right, that was the first. But I may not be remembering right. I don't, I don't know for sure. Okay, that bird just blew himself up. I wonder how many of these birds I could hypothetically lure into their own deaths by bombing a building too close to themselves. So this is the first area again. Gonna have to go through the main level area. I don't remember how thoroughly Jack explored the uh, Romeo and Juliet area. 
Oh, there's a lot of in level design inspiration from Spyro. Yeah, that's neat. I've never, I've never played or seen footage of Skylanders, so I honestly know nothing about it as a series. I've also never played the- I mentioned this earlier at the start of the stream. I've never played the Spyro or Crash handheld games, which they're, they're Game Boy Advance games. I wouldn't expect too much, but that might be an interesting thing to try out just because I've never tried them before. Oh, that's cool. Oh, frames, please. Save the frames. Is that it? Is that all of them? Yeah! Alright. Oh, this is such a big level. That's one of the levels I remember best from this game, just because I spent so much time on it as a kid. There's so much to do. Handheld games are kind of trash. I expect it. Yeah, I expect that much. I know the Crash ones are 2D platformers. I don't know what the spiral ones are. Are they- are- do they try to be 3D, like isometric? Is that what they do? I played- I played Cra Crash Purple and Spiral Orange. Those were- those were dumpster fires. Those were bad. Gameplay-wise and graphically. I mentioned this before. Some- the- both the Spyro and Crash series have gone through so many visual redesigns. And most of them have not been good. I, I, I can't think of any time, off the top of my head, a franchise went through a redesign and uh, people agreed that it was good for it. Sonic Boom tried it and everyone hated it. They did it with Crash, and everyone was really just did not interested in it. When What was it? Crash of the Titans? Around that era was when they gave Crash and company fairly significant redesigns. And then there's Ultra Serious Babyface, Spyro, and Cinder. On to Skylanders. He got a little bit, a little bit redesigned. It's hard to fuck up Spyro too much. He's just a little purple dragon is all he is. But uh, somewhere... After, I think the PS2 era, that was when the Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, that was around the time that uh, they made the Spyro Orange Crash Purple things. And the characters all looked like they were just totally blitzed on cocaine, all the cocaine. Especially the Professor, just wide, wide bug eyes, tiny, tiny wide bug eyes. Space so far out, it was just really, really bad. They totally fucked up Spyro's design in Skylanders. I've seen Skylanders Spyro in comic form. I know IDW does a Skylanders comic series. That I've seen little bits of. I haven't bought or read, obviously. Because I'm not, not a Skylanders fan, so. But I know that exists. How many gems was I missing here? Not too many, I don't think. Hello, Gweta. I'll open the doors for you. Uh, oh, more than I thought. Okay, 42. How does, uh... Kind of looks like a pug with a smush... Yeah, I can see it in Skylander Spyro. Do you know how he, uh... How he sounds in Remake Trilogy. Because I know in the originals, these ones, he's voiced by Tom Kenny, which is amazing. But I don't think he is any longer voiced by Tom Kenny, and I imagine they wouldn't have gotten him back. Unless they reused the voice acting from the original games, which I don't think they would, but I mean, they might, they could, conceivably. It's not outside the realm of possibility. Oh, they got Tom Kenny back. That's cool. I'm glad about that.
I'm curious how bad his voice has gotten over the years, if it's gotten worse in the transition to, like, PS4 or PS2 or Skylanders or anything like that. Because as Jack and I have noted, it was almost certainly at its worst in Spiral 1, as far as, as, far as the original trilogy goes. I don't remember if he's still Tom Kenny on PS4 or not, PS2 or not. PS4, it's not on... I don't think there's been a Spyro game on PS4, except the Skylanders in the trilogy. Get these little guys hanging out here. Oh, is there no... There's no whirlwind here. God damn it. I gotta open the gate first. I can't cheat. Ow! Sniper walruses. We commented when we got to uh, Huracos how the Electro Trolls Electrols in this game are just they're just the Spongebob voice. Tom Kenny does so many of the bit characters in this game, in addition to Spyro. And he's usually pretty recognizable. Very often recognizable. I saw his panel at the last uh, Portland Comic Con. Jack and I went to that. And it was all Spongebob. Granted, he was there with Roger Bumpus, voice of Squidward, so that's... I guess that's to be expected. But no one really... Even the people who asked him... Even the people who asked him questions... Didn't really mention any of his other roles. It was just... It was a Spongebob panel. But he is, uh... I will say... I've said before on stream... He is just as excitable in person as his character is as Spongebob. It was so hard for poor Squidward, Bumpus Man, to get a word in on Tom Kenny. He was just, he's just a, a motor mouth. Nothing against the guy. That's just their personalities. Hello, Dark Spyro. We have someone joining us on Mixer. Only started streaming to a mixer recently, so that's a little new to me. Oh, no, I need to. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I need to get the thing. I need to blow up the thing. Get to the thing, Spyro. Be, be dragon fast. Fast dragon, speed dragon. You can make it. You can make it. You can make it. Yeah! Okay, I made it. I'm good. Oh. Dark Spyro will help. Oh, okay. Feel free to help, Dark Spyro. I don't know that I need it, but if you think I do, you're welcome to help. I, I don't mind. Do you utilize the double jump glitch in this game? I am not familiar with such a glitch. I can try it if you'd like to, if you think you could su successfully explain it in chat. Mm. No, I know a lot of, uh, I know a lot of Mario 64 glitches, know a lot of Pokemon glitches, those, everyone knows those. Not so many PS1 glitches. I guess I just never learned many for the games on that. Jump, and then press X and square at the same time at the top of your jump. Oh, yeah, 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 a little height that way. I see what you're talking about. This on old PlayStation. Yes, this is the original... This is the original Spyro 2 on PlayStation 1. I'm using an emulator. I, ha I have the disc, but... Uh, we. I try to... I emulate games from PS1 and earlier. Just because the PS1 get discs have started to deteriorate and have issues. Like, uh, you would see in our, in our Rayman stream that we just did. Is that, uh, 
we had the... We tried the ISO, and that had problems. We tried the disc in the computer, and that had problems. And I had to resort to playing it on the actual PS2. And even then, we have problems with the music skipping, just because the Rayman disc is old, so... That'll happen. Will you get remastered Spyro? Uh... Not anytime soon. I don't plan on it just because I don't have the funding and I'm perfectly happy with the original trilogy. I don't see anything that the new ones would add that uh, would be worth sinking that the, uh, enough money into them. If I did get it, it would be on Steam. I'm expecting a Steam announcement for it. Well, hello there, Mr. Oh, I didn't need to free him. I don't think. Unless there were some gems in the sealed temple or something. I think it's guaranteed on Switch. I am expecting it on Steam because the crash, crash was on Steam. It has all three games on it. I mean, I have, I have all three games on PS1 and on ISO. So I don't see why I would need it. The only thing about... The only thing that kind of enticed me about the Crash Trilogy is that they added uh, time trials for Crash 1 and 2 levels. Which I found in interesting. Again, still not enough for me to sink the money into the game. Maybe with achievements. But I do not have a PS4 or, an X or a bone, so... Maybe one day I'll get the Crash tri Trilogy on uh, Steam for the achievements, because those those are fun. They made Spyro look better than this one. Eh, arguable. It's higher resolution. I'm, I'm still not quite sold on the graphic style of the new one. And I honestly don't really care about graphics either. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure they'll add extra stuff as well. I just, I'm not in such a hurry that I'm not willing to wait and see what that extra stuff is, I guess. And there, you know, I'm, I'm very tight on funds. There are other games that are not, that are new, that I'd rather be spending my money on, given the choice. Ah, the pig did a little pig dance. I'm really, I'm waiting for Spelunky 2. I love Spelunky, so I'm, I'm very hopeful about the sequel. And obviously, much later this year when Smash gets announced on Switch. We just recently, Jack and I invested in a Switch, so that's still that's still new to us. We have uh, Mario Kart 8. We have uh, Splatoon 2, which we haven't played a whole lot of on stream yet. And uh, Snipper Clips, we just streamed in full the other day. I heard people want Spyro Remastered on the Switch. Yeah. Again, everything is going to the Switch these days. And especially since Activision is the current publisher for both Crash and Spyro. If they put Crash on every console, which is unprecedented, I can't imagine them not doing it for Spyro. I think it's guaranteed on Switch and extremely probable for Steam. Ow. They didn't say anything about stream. About Steam, you mean? I'm just saying that because uh, the Crash Trilogy was on both Switch and Steam. Which, yeah, I was, I was very surprised about a Crash game on Steam. I, I wasn't expecting that. I need health. I need some dancing pigs. Where are the pigs at? I am doing amazingly bad at not getting hit by these Earth Shapers. Crash coming on Xbox. Yeah, it's surprising that he's on anything but PlayStation. Actually, I don't know. What what consoles had Crash been on before? He had some multi-platform games, right? I thought he had like some of the more recent ones. Crash of the Titans or some of the racers or something. 
had been on uh, Microsoft as well as Sony. But I'm not positive. Don't quote me on that. Oh, come on, Spyro. And I'm assuming Skylanders is on everything because it's Skylanders and they want to sell it, but... Only for Xbox. Well, yeah, I didn't mean... I didn't mean a Nintendo console specifically. But yeah, I would ex... I thought that they had had at least a couple Crash games on Xbox in the past. Oh, Wii U as well? Or is he talking about Skylanders now? Oh, come on. I'm, I'm gonna do the jump. I'm gonna do the fancy jump. Here I go. Hey, I did it. That was totally unreachable by any other means. Oh, we missed a lot of stuff up here. And then there's that uh, gem. You know what? Uh, I'm just curious. Just stand still. Yeah, whatever, Hunter. Oh, I thought maybe you could do that without the alchemist quest. For Bob's? Toys for people named Bob? Oh, you bastard. Alright, you, you need to die. You have inconvenienced me, therefore your life must end by my hand, by my claw. There is no alternative. There we go. And all is well with the world. I gotta get that chest. I gotta get that gem chest. Oh, is that the name? Oh, that's the name of the company. Toys for Bobs? Really? What an interesting company name. Yeah, I knew I knew that the Spyro trilogy was made by the same people as Skylanders, which is why part of it had me a little hesitant, but They did a better job than I expected them to from the looks of it. Not necessarily enough of one that I want to buy it, but yeah, just full circle. Okay, I gotta find it, figure out where to go off to get that gem thing. Is it... Oh, no, it's not here! That's death! I think I had to turn back here. Jump this. No? Where am I going? There's these things. Might as well get these while I'm here. I need to... I should clear out some of these guys. I should go to li just a little bit of genocide. A little bit. A healthy amount of genocide. Oh no! I'm... Wow, I'm doing as bad as Jack. Okay, don't get hit, me. Go on, do your thing. There we go. Now go in the pit. Uh, there's this fella. You don't want to get hit by him. I want to hit him. There we go. There's one less Earth Shaper in the world. Now, gem. Case, where are you? I need you, pig. That's a good pig. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna reverse engineer this path. I'm gonna go backwards. Pig, I see a pig. The satyrs will remain in stone. No! I didn't want to save you. Release date in September. For... Oh, the... For the Spyro Trilogy? That hasn't been released yet? I've seen some, uh... I've seen people play it on YouTube. Those must be, uh... Like, early access gamers. No, I thought it was already out. So, 
I need to go around here. Is it... Where are you? So over here is where I'm going. So I think I need to start up this path and jump off for the gem case is what it looks like. Okay. I know where I'm going now. I think the person that was watching on Twitch left. I think they got mad that I was also talking to someone on Mixer. Oh, what? I can't jump up that? Seen the trailer for Remastered. I think I did. I've seen some... Uh, I've seen a, a few various videos of it. Okay. Maybe I need to go all the way to the top of that satyr path and jump. Maybe that's what I need to do. Here I go. I'm gonna do it. Oh, no! You fuck! I'll just listen on this island, I guess, with my pig, because the cutscene forced me to stop charging! Here I go again. One more time. One more time! Is that a speedrun trick? Can I continue moving while the cutscene is going and activate some crazy glitch that way? I feel like that's a thing in some realm of reality. Ah, uh, nope. Failed. Ow. If only they didn't walk back to their default positions. If I could just charge them out of the way and they just stay there. That'd be nice. But nope, they reset. Like Rayman enemies, they reset. You satyr fuck. You're not gonna get in my way this- Nope. The only one who's gonna get in my way is me and my incompetence. Oh man, I've never had this much trouble with this before. I know it's not- it's- I wanna say this is the hardest gem case in the game. But even so, this is taking me longer than usual. I wonder if they'll, uh... I wonder if they'll introduce a better reward for all the gems in the Spyro 2 remaster. Hey! There we go. People are going to stream... Yep. People are gonna stream it. I know. I know that. It's because it's it's a hot button topic. Well, hot button, hot. It's a hot topic. It's something that people want to see, especially people who, like me, can't afford it. I wonder how much it's going to. Uh, I wonder if it's going to be a full sixty dollar release, or not. Like a triple A game. Sixty dollars is too much to pay for a game, new or not in this day and age. And slowly, publishers are starting to realize that. Not the AAA ones, though. They're still struggling to figure out why their games aren't... why people aren't buying their games. And it's because all the people who grew up in video games are now poor people with the tw late 20-somethings with college debts to pay. Uh, Fracture Hills. Magma Cone, that's where we need. Costs like 30. Okay, that's... That's good to hear. 30 bucks is much more reasonable than uh, a 60 game would be. Missing 10 gems here? Oh, wow, we missed a lot here. Almost 150. I'm 
gonna avoid talking to Gene from Yu Yu Hakusho. Go around this way. Not on the starting platform. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. No, none of you. Oh, he still hit me. I can see why people would be really excited about the remaster thing. I mean, people are... People are desperate for new Spyro. The way things have been going for the little guy. Even if it's not really new new, it's still the closest that we're going to get to new good Spyro platforming. Is Skylanders like uh, World of Warcraft? Are they? Is that something that they constantly update with new patches and levels and things? Like, they're never going to release a Skylanders 2, are they? Or have there been multiple Skylanders games? I don't even know. I know in uh, Disney Infinity, or I think... In Disney Infinity, you unlocked uh, levels with character figures. Like, the figure included, you could play as the character, and you would also get, like, some items or levels or something. Environmental aspects with them. I think. I know very little about these, uh, these toy game series. I have a couple- I have a few amiibos for Smash Brothers. But that's about it. Those those are my those are my figures of choice and I'm not an avid collector of them. You fucker, get back here. You swim trunks motherfucker. I can't even flame him cuz he's made a rock. He's a rock type. Fire's not very effective. There we go. Oh god, that was like chasing the thieves. I remember the thieves return in Spyro 3. I remember, I, I remember chasing the thieves was usually pretty fun. Not because of chasing them itself, but because they were often on supercharged, like, Hot Wheels tracks, and supercharged Hot Wheels tracks were fun. I liked doing those. Stump Town in Spyro 1 was the worst of it. That was... It was fun to traverse the level, but that one dragon you had to get to was so such a convoluted path. We had to use a guide for it. We never would have... Uh... They add new screenshot for remastered. What, like a, a screenshot feature? You can take a screen cap of the game? Because that's kind of a universal function of uh, most modern consoles. Okay, I need to get this guy way over here. Oh, can I... Is that where I need to glide from? New clips. New cutscenes? Is that what you, that what you mean? Because that's, I mentioned that earlier. It looked like they added more lines and dialogue and cutscenes and things like that. Uh, where is, where's the hunter cave? Did I just, did I miss that? Uh, am I blind? Oh, here we go. Yep, I just, I missed it. Okay, there's a couple gems. A gem. Is this where I can glide from? How do I get that dynamite? There was a dynamite that I couldn't glide to. Is it over here? Where are you, buddy? That's not it. 
Hmm. The bosses in Spyro 1 were especially lacking in uh, any kind of character or cutscene or anything like that. So that yeah, I'd say that was probably an improvement. Giving them a little more uh, time to shine. Oh, it's so close. I can see it. No, I didn't. Okay. So if you press R1 in the air, is that? No, I must have hit X by accident. That was weird. a very precise uh okay if not here no i can get to it here okay i made it that's a, just a, a tight jump is all it is there's not some special secret place to glide there from oh there's a lot in there is that it no okay volcano it is oh I went to change the volume and I, I wasn't paying attention. And I can't go that way. Ah! Maybe 30 minutes was a little presumptuous for clearing out. I forgot this le this world has a lot more levels than uh, Summer Forest. Maybe a lot more. I think it has eight, right? Wait, how many gems? Still 25. Okay, so there are a significant amount in the volcano crater. I'm assuming that's where... I'm hoping that's where they're at, because I was pretty thorough out here, I think. Here we go. Down the pit. No time for elevators. Okay. Where am I super fly at? Oh, that's up top. Okay. Let's check down here. I know there are a lot of uh, balloons. Oh, no. A lot of balloons floating around this area. Probably missed some of them. Gotta climb. I wish I could flame breath on ladders. It'd be neat. Uh, Spyro, go left. There we go. You had some trouble on that ridge. Okay, talk to me, Gene. Thanks for closing the lid on the volcano, Spyro. Anytime. There's, I see some. Yep, I already have it. I see some right in plain sight that we just ignored. And now there's another, probably another, uh... Probably a balloon floating about. Where are you? There he is. There's the little guy. Oops! We're good. False alarm. Level complete. Yep. Funny murder cutscene. What do we got? Is that the last? No, we've got uh, Hippo World. I forget what that's called. Uh, Shady Oasis, and that then we're done. So let's go to the oasis. Let's see what we missed here. I think... I think we got the magic question mark pot. I think that was taken care of. And I think I got the head bash gem case as well. Spiral. Yep. Need food. Flame bush. Good thing. Does not burn tree down. Oh, 
Oh, I see gems. How many am I missing? Almost a hundred. We got less Thoru as the as this world went on, it would seem. Oh, I see some down there. Are there any up here? No. We chased the thief thoroughly in this area. Is that a clock? I hear ticking. Just an odd part of the background music. Up the stairs for giants. Always a little weird in these old platforming games. How the only stairs are giant ones that you have to jump up. Because I guess working ramp-like stairs is a little harder to program. Unless they're endless, in which case it's totally okay to have them in the game. Those are easy to do. Those endless stairs. In other news, it's almost the end of the school year. Meaning my schedule will theoretically free up in a few weeks and I'll be able to stream more often. I've been... I've been fairly active these pet these this past week. I've been able to kind of stay on top of it. I already readjusted my schedule a little bit so that I can fit them in at least on Jack's days off. A little more often than we had been. Didn't want to do that. It's okay. Getting them gems. And then there's going to be a bunch in the final platform area. The big underside spot. I, I'm not being very descriptive here. But you know the place I'm talking about. Probably. Get a rock from the green hippo poop lava. And... There we go. Is he gonna kill the enemies? Nope, just... Oh, he killed that one. I guess the orange guy dodged him. Okay, here we are. Get some of these. That's good. Oh, can I get a... Wait. Oh, an opportunity. A chance. Not that there's anything up here, but... Hey! I did the th I did a thing with the thing. I'm not supposed to be up here. Oh, nope. Don't want to go down there. Oh, I didn't get the... I didn't get the head bash chest. Well, there's a, there's a bunch. Well, 20, 25. These. There's more. Uh. Oh, wait. I remember. These guys sitting out here. You know, just... Glass vases surviving on the lava. They're fine. All right. That is all of Autumn Plains. Which means I'm done with the gem hunting. And so, I can return back to Winter Tundra and boot the file. With Jack being none the wiser. And next time we'll be back to Jack playing the game. Getting the orbs in Winter Tundra. There aren't very many levels in the third world. Might be just one stream. Then I'll get all the gems in that. And then we'll do the, the final area. The secret dragon theme park. Don't tell anyone. It's 
So that's what we'll do. I'm done for the night. Thank you guys for watching. It was fun having people to talk to. And I will see you next time I stream. Bye-bye.